groups. One of the tasks of accounting is classification of transactions. Transactions are classified into ledgers. For meaningful reporting, ledgers are again classified into groups. In order to implement the codeless concept of accounting, Tally requires us to follow some standard conventions. Tally can organize accounts ledgers and groups in a versatile way. There is no limit on depth of nesting, number of groups and subgroups, and number of ledger accounts that can be placed under a group or subgroup. In the modern way of accounting, all financial entries are performed using ledgers or account heads. Tally follows the single ledger concept of accounting. It is advisable to group or classify ledger information based on their functions. Groups are helpful in classifying and identifying account heads based on their nature. The grouping account could be classified into assets, liabilities, incomes, and expenses. Tally provides a set of reserved groups based on accounting principles to save us from frequent creation of used groups. Groups can be classified into two types. They are primary groups and subgroups. Tally could be predefined into 28 groups, out of which 15 are primary groups and 13 are subgroups. Out of the 15 predefined groups, nine are those groups that would appear in the balance sheet. These nine predefined groups are capital in nature. Creating groups. Click Groups and then click Create under Single Group. Single Group allows us to work on one group or subgroup at a time. You can now see the Group Creation screen. Let us create a group. In the Name box, type Sanjay's Capital Account and press Enter. Type an alias name if desired. You can give more than one alias name. Under a list of predefined groups pop up. Select Capital Account by pressing C and press the down arrow key. We can create a new parent group by using the Alt and C keys on the keyboard. This is the shortcut key to create a ledger or group during creation or during a voucher entry. Press Escape. Group behaves like sub-ledgers. In Tally, there is no concept of control ledger and subledger. Normally, groups like sundry debtors, sundry creditors, advance, loan, employee accounts contain numerous ledgers. Many organizations may not prefer to include a long list of parties in the final accounts. When you set to Yes, the only total control of the group will be shown in reports. Underlying ledgers will not appear. Net debit or credit balances for reporting. When you set to Yes, reports will show the net balance of the group instead of both debit balance and credit balances in separate columns. Normally, groups are created in two modes, Normal and Advanced. Configuration of this is advised before its creation you do have the liberty to enable or disable advanced mode. Currently, the advanced mode is enabled. To disable this, click the F12 Configure button. Under Accounts Masters, type No for the option Allow Advanced Entries in Masters. Now you can see only the name, alias and under. Configuration changes affect all companies whereas Features changes affect only the current company. Other buttons on the screen are ledgers. Cost category, cost center, budget and voucher types. By clicking them, you can create ledgers and voucher types, etc. Note, any key in the bottom bar with a single underline should be used with the combination of Alt and any key with a double underline should be used with a combination of the control key.